Hey there, fellas. As always, we've got another experiment in store for you today. I watched a video recently where this guy was doing some dent removal work with the help of these rods or pencils or whatever you want to call them. This is the sort of stuff that's meant to be used with a hot glue gun. Anyway, we're actually looking to try something similar. As you might have guessed, these hot glue gun rods aren't the only thing we'll be using. Throughout this video, we'll be cooking up a few new methods. Incidentally, you guys can watch how we come up with ideas. First, we have to make a dent before we can fix something, using various methods. We're most interested, of course, to find out how these thingies do the job. Right, enough chit-chat. Let's make a few dents and fix them right back up. Let's do this. In order to have something to fix, we need to do some damage first. We've got the right tool for the job. Go right ahead. <laughs> what can I say here? You made that dent, you can go ahead and fix it. Oh my god. That cracked all 35 layers of clear coat. Whatever, it doesn't really matter if they're cracked or not. Quit laughing already. Okay, now we take this thing. Can you get me... a blowtorch? I'm afraid that something might go wrong. We need to put a lot of heat in them to get a larger surface area. The key here is to smash them on tight. Yeah, now I just hang around and hold them like this. Okay, they've completely cooled down. Now we just... Give it a try. Which I did. Did we get anywhere? Get over here with that blowtorch. We didn't straighten it out enough. Let me just give it a bit more. Go ahead, keep going. Right, now let's try this out. This is going fine so far. I'm pressing them up against the fender really hard. Relax, dude, let's not get carried away, otherwise we'll make it worse. Now we wait for it to cool down. Okay, they seem to have cooled down. Okay, careful not to rip them off. Oh, wow. They're stuck on, they're stuck on pretty tight. Did you see that? It's almost perfect. It looks pretty good. This method actually works. How's the clear coat doing? It's all good. You can easily buff it out. We're actually getting somewhere, look at that. Right, here's the spot. The glue sticks are nice and hard. Now I just carefully... That edge is popping out. Which isn't a bad thing. Looks like we stuck them on too firmly even. We won't have any trouble removing this. What can I say here, fellas? This method actually works. This is actually a good way to fix dents without even damaging the paint. And that's what's crucial here. Yo, Valera. Valera. You're not gonna get me again. Now we'll try fixing this dent. Doesn't matter whether you've got one on your door, or maybe your front or rear fender. Anyway, so let me tell you about a certain old-timer method. Don't forget your ball, guys! For our next method, we take something like this ball. Well, we will actually use a ball. Some of you might remember that in the olden days they had balls with lacing. You'd take a rubber bladder, stick it inside, fill it with some air, it would start taking shape. And so if you were dealing with these types of smooth surfaces, you could use one of those without doing any sort of damage, since that bladder would be touching the entire surface from the inside. Anyway, all that pressure would restore the panel's original shape. You'd have a 90% chance of it looking like brand new after popping it back into place. But that's if you don't have any serious creases or bent edges. You guys watch and learn. 
Amateurs. What have we got in here? Do we see any reinforcement? I think I see something along those lines. Yes, indeed. Let me just carefully place this thing inside. Now we take an air compressor, hook it up, and try inflating this ball. Just a little bit more. I'm guessing this is the way to turn it into a 110 series lot, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but you ain't making it into a Priora. I can tell you that much. There we go. We can just leave the ball in there and sell the car as is. <laughs> this Chinese piece of... What sort of bladder is this? Anyway, it let go at precisely the right moment. At least we straightened out the fender. So we figured out another method for effortlessly fixing dents. Though you might want to use some earplugs. That was such a dick move, man. When you've got a tube lying on the ground, you can inflate it like this much, but when you squeeze it... I say we give it a try. Maybe we have something for a 13-inch tire, no? It'll take a while to find one. I thought we didn't shy away from a challenge. Did you get it in there? Looks like you've outdone yourself here. Now go ahead and put some air in there. It's actually working. Wow. Looks pretty good, though it hasn't straightened this out. Whoa, dude, chill out. You're gonna make it all bulgy and shit. This edge right here. See this? Now it looks okay. It is a better way to go than that ball, with it spreading out so evenly. Plus we removed that crease over there. It's become very round, though. We could try too round, I reckon. We can try giving it all we got. That'll just make it pop out down here. It is toast. <laughs> that wasn't too epic of a bang, though. Like you said, it didn't have a carcass, so... Yeah, true. There is one more thing we can try that'll give us a lot of pressure points all at once. For real? Yes, I think it's good for fixing serious damage. I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah, that thing that you brought down here before we started. Our camera guy is waving at us. He wants in on the action. Go ahead, smash the car. You call that a big hit? Now he's gonna break the car for sure. He is a big dude. You do know that there's some reinforcement happening in there, right? Right here, see? You're actually right. You could break your foot on that. Now we're talking. Dude, stop. The outer skin is starting to stick out. I gather this is what you were referring to, right? Why'd you bring that here? What do you mean? Aren't we using this to fix the door? Care to show me where you want to place it? I'll find a spot somewhere in there. So this thing is similar to a tube. It also inflates. Why don't you use this? Are you insane? It'll be fine, it's got two gas cylinders. It looks like what you'd find inside the dashboard. That looks like something you'd use to break into a car. We should at least give it a try. Well, I have to agree with you there. This will definitely straighten everything out. Carefully place it. We'll straighten this dent out for sure. Without a doubt in my mind. Okay, so we've installed that compact mending device. Everything's looking good. We have a couple of wires down here. All I have to do is switch it on. And look on to see what happens. Let's do this. You guys ready? One, two, three.
Did it straighten out the door? Let me have a look. I told you it's gonna work. Now all we have to do is just give it a few slight hits with a hammer. And the job is done. Look at that. This obviously isn't an old-fashioned method. I'd actually say that this is something a bit more modern. We'll let the smoke clear out, and all should be good. At least the door is even. And the sound it makes when it closes. Have you ever seen that on a Lada? Just give it a slight nudge. What can I say? It shuts perfectly. Now I'm gonna kick the door in, and you straighten it out. Let's do this. Be my guest. It's all about humanity. Right, so we've stuffed another one of those mending appliances in there. You installed it, so you go ahead and do the honors. Now let's see how this thing straightens it all out. We doing this? One, two, three. Oh my god, now that's some serious equipment. What have you done? Now just picture how much effort it'll take to weld it back together. Well, at least we straightened the door, look. Now the door is sagging. What the hell, man? This is no way to do dent repair. We've gone too far. It is straight, though, see? I can deal with a ball or a tire tube exploding. But when the door blows up... That's just too much. It didn't blow up, it blew open. It did split in half, yeah, you're right. I take it there was nothing securing it? Nobody's ever replaced the outer skin? This car was basically new. For God's sake. Anyway, fellas, it is what it is. This shouldn't have been a surprise. It was to be expected. Right, guys. You saw everything for yourselves. Using an airbag module for body repair is very unsafe. So whatever you do, don't try this at home. Though when we used those glue gun sticks, that method actually worked pretty well. We were able to fix the fender. You do get a bit of leftover residue, but it is quite easy to remove, and it doesn't even leave any marks. As for the ball and tube method, let's say that it gets the job done with a 90% success rate. We weren't able to remove all of the small dents. Before we started, it looked as if you could easily mend them by hand, but when you actually try to do that, a sort of bubble appears at the precise spot where you apply pressure, or you get a sort of popper. But if you were to use a ball or a tire tube, the chances of that occurring are much lower. As for using an airbag module to repair dents, you might have noticed that I found a side impact airbag, which doesn't fire too far out, but provides a decent surface area. It got the job done and then some. Meanwhile, using a front impact airbag is a surefire way to destroy your car. Anyway, guys, I'd say that this experiment has been a massive success. The glue sticks worked awesomely, the ball and tube are yesterday's news. All in all, this was good fun. Watch us, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. I just can't get them to stop. They just can't get enough, these guys. Can you guess? Oh, look who's talking. What? They found another airbag, which they've decided to place behind the rear quarter panel this time.
Did you guys see how scared you were? It's a shame I didn't film your reactions. Wow, that's one hell of a charge. What do we got here? That was pretty brutal. Right, so they've done it. We are definitely on the up here. We've torn off that fender. Life is good. We've got plenty of smoke. For the love of God, fellas, don't try this at home. I thought it was gonna shatter the glass. But we got lucky. I'd say that's enough experimenting for one day.